why should people vote for me for Ward 7 Alderman? Um, back when I was elected in 2013, I was the only uh, Alderman of Ward 7 uh, for the first two years of my term. Uh, the, the second year of my term, uh, my smaller child got very sick and uh, I was still able to, uh, you know, feel all the wards, uh, calls and complaints um, and uh, never, have never ever received a complaint either to my face or over the phone or through email about how I've uh, conducted myself uh, throughout the course of the last four years and at the meetings and uh, in the community I go to the you know, all the neighborhood uh, association uh, meetings that I can. <clears throat> um, I think I have a good understanding now, being an attorney as well as having four years under my belt as alderman, of a, I have a good understanding of how the city functions. I'm on the finance committee, uh, I'm on the uh, um, ordinance legal committee. Uh, so I think my, uh, my talents have been used well uh, as a member of those two committees. Uh, also, uh, I believe that one doesn't just wake up uh, and decide to become a an alderman uh, like Mr. Wygant. Uh, I think uh, I think that kind of decision making is is not good for government. Uh, I think it's the type of decision making that leads to bad government. Uh, so, what I would do uh, for or, or request of the uh, constituents of Ward Seven is to go view my Ward Seven alderman. Uh, Facebook page. The video to the debate between Mr. Wagan and myself is on there. If one, you weren't there, or two, you haven't seen it yet. And I would encourage you to watch. It's about half an hour. And uh, I think after you watch it, uh, there's really no doubt as to who's the better candidate.